Hi everyone, my name is Sobasi. I'm a UI designer from Design Crew School. Today, we're going to design this beautiful online bag shopping app from scratch and Figma. We're going to use the dimorphism style with a matte effect, adding a pop-up color to make the design more unique and interesting. We're going to create an angle shape for the layout and make the selected button flow. There is a model with the bottom sheet appearing from the bottom. There are different action buttons, the elevate, the depress, and the slider. So are you excited to get started? So let's do it! Before starting the video, I want to say thank you Rai for sponsoring this video. Rai is an animation and design tool that lets you create interactive assets. Integrate rich animation into any platform, whether it's a website, app, or game. You can design directly in the visual editor and import content from your favorite design tool like Figma or Sketch. You can collaborate in real time with your team. With State Machine, you can define how animation are triggering based on interaction and state. You have access to a large library of free anime assets created by the community. If you want to learn something new, it's a great opportunity for you. It's free to try. Create a account and have fun! To follow this course, you will need a copy of the iOS 16 UI kit for Figma. We're going to use popping from Google Form. It's free to download. If you want beautiful image, go on Unsplash. To remove the image background, go to Remove BG. To find my Figma file, go to Community and search for my name, Sukhasi. I just create this Figma file for you. Click on it and get a copy. To get started, we're going to click on Add New Page. And this section, we're going to design the discover screen. We're going to create the custom tab bar and um, the layout. Click on F to create a frame. Use the iPhone 30 Pro. Add a background color. We're going to put 50 on the corner radius. Add a start bar and a home indicator. And click on the book icon, Team Library, and you're going to active the iOS 15 UI kit for Figma. Go to search, start bar, adding tab horizontal center, change to white color. Now we need home indicator, adding bottom and horizontal center, change the color to white. If you want to detach and choose your own color, click on detach still and select your own color. So use rectangle. Click on edit. So I'm not sure about the name of this shape, but I think it's a trapeze. Now let's go to the next step. Fill linear, first color at the top, and then the color at the bottom. Put the opacity to 100. Place the color diagonal. Let me zoom it. So we're going to write a title. Click on T. So we're going to change that to popping bold and the size 20. Or the which? Adding left. The spacing is 20 from the left. 23 from the status bar. Go to the asset page. So I have other icon for you. Click on command C. I'm gonna pass here. Now we're gonna add auto layout. Shift plus eight. The size must be 44 and 44. So I'm just going to move the frame so I can change the size. Very important to center alignment. Fill color. Use exactly the same color gradient for the background. Click on the rectangle. Right click, copy property and pass property. I'm just going to replace the color. The corner radius is cans. We're going to add stroke linear. Again, I'm going to place it in diagonal. Top color is going to be white and the bottom is going to be black. 100. 
go to blend mode and choose overlay and we're going to change the opacity to 60. the spacing is 16 from the start bar and 20 from the right so use a rectangle the size is going to be 3, 5, and 2, 4, 0. Adding horizontal center. Corner radius is going to be 20. We're going to go to Edit Object. Select the bottom right corner and move up 40 pixel. Fill linear. So the color on top, the color and the bottom. Reduce the opacity to 60. Add stroke, linear, top color white, bottom color black. Good one on red. Change the opacity to 20, inside to width. Now we're gonna add effect background blur 100. Add drop shadow negative 20, blue 60. The color is 50, so you can see the light here. Add another drop shadow. It's going to be the shadow 20, 60, and the color 60. Add the image you can find in the asset file. This one, I find it in Figma community. Such a great deal. And the size is going to be 26, bold, O2H, and aligned left. Color white, reduced to 60. The spacing from the left is 16 and at the bottom is 20. We're going to add a custom icon that I made so you can find an asset. So bring it a new page. Make sure that the image is inside the frame. Name all the layer. Rectangle is going to be in another group. Call it BG. And this is the search fill button. So we can group them in auto layout. Tap navigation. The rectangle is the base. So we're going to select the image, the text, and the base. Name it by top card. I'm going to select the second icon. I'm going to move off 10 pixels. And the third icon, I'm going to move to 20 pixels. And for this one, it's going to be 30 pixels. And this one, 40 pixels. The next step, we're going to create a angle shape to make the design more unique. Use rectangle 1, 6, 5, 2, 4, 0. Corner radius 20. Select the top card, the base. Right click and click on copy property. Right click and click on pass property. So we're going to change the opacity to 100. We don't need a background blur. Click on the eye. Go to Exit Object. Select the top left corner. Move down 20 pixel. Select the bottom right corner and move up 20 pixel. Click on Done. Right click and click on Group Selection. Item 1. Go to Unsplash. I'm going to select this one. Download free, go to remove BG, upload image, and you're going to download. We're going to resize and make it smaller. To keep the same proportion, it's very important to click on key, on your keyboard. So now you have to fit in the layout. Click on the crop image. Put an item group, name the rectangle by base. Okay, now we're going to click on T. And make sure to click so auto edge, adding left, medium, and 30. We're going to change it to 60 opacity. Duplicate the text, change it to the name of the bike. Go to type setting, go to case, and select uppercase. The size 15, so we're going to put an ball opacity to 100 okay select the road by we're gonna duplicate it and the spacing is going to be zero spacing is going to be 16 from the left and 22 the bottom i'm going to select my image again i'm going to put it smaller and the spacing is going to be 22 from the top
select the icon, go to fill leaner. Top color is going to be the bottom color, opacity one on red. We're going to place it diagonal and then we're going to copy property to pass property. Okay, now we're going to change the image and the text. So now I'm going to duplicate the item two. I'm going to put under item one. The spacing is going to be zero and spacing from the left 20. So I'm going to select the item one, duplicate, put under item two. Spacing is zero. Spacing between them is 20 and 20 from the right. Click on the base. We have to reduce opacity to 60 and remove drop shadow. So I just realized that we see the background here. So we're going to select the base from item three, put back the background blur. And I'm going to select the icon. I'm going to put the white color instead, reduce to 60%. Gonna do the same thing here. We have to change the image and the text. Okay, so I'm going back to the type setting, and now we can see that I don't have a lot of space. So take out the uppercase, click on has type. The title is gonna be an uppercase, and the name is going to be a lowercase. For this one, I'm gonna keep it like. I clean all the layer. So I'm going to select all the item, put them in a group, call it by item. So I'm going to select the item category in the top cards and the spacing from the top navigation is going to be 32. Now we're going to create the custom tab bar. Go to the asset and tap for tab bar so you don't have to worry about the spacing. Go to instant option and detach, and we're going to select each frame and we're going to detach instant. We're going to hide the label, we don't need it. And now we're going to go to the asset page and select the icon that I need. Create a rectangle. 390104. Adding bottom. So go to fill, linear. Top color is going to be. The color from the bottom is going to be. 181C24. Opacity 100. Add stroke, linear. Top color is white. At the bottom, you're going to be black and zero. And side two. Reduce the opacity to 20. Let me change it again. Name the layer by base. I'm going to put under the tab bar. Go to exit object. Select the top left corner. And we're going to move up to pixel. Other icon, the color is white and 60 opacity. Now we're going to do the selected button. Create a rectangle 60 and 60. Corner radius 10. Select this icon. And I'm going to take the property. I'm going to pass probate on the new rectangle. Okay, now we're going to go to edit. Select the top left corner, move 10 pixel. Select the bottom right corner and move up 10 pixel. I'm going to need this icon, pass here. So select the icon and the rectangle, add in a group. It's going to be put inside my frame. And the spacing is going to be 20 and 44. So I'm going to select the select button, the tab bar and the base and a frame. And don't forget to change the home indicator to white. So as you can see, you have the old home indicator. You can just remove it. And voila, we are done with the first screen. So now let's go to the next step. We're going to name the layer by this cover, duplicate. This screen is going to be detail, delete everything except the top navigation background, home indicator and study bar. So I'm going to take my background and I'm going to move like this. So place your study bar at the top and I'm going to edit my shape, select the 
top navigation, ungroup, select the title, put in the middle, the button I'm going to place from the left. So it's going to be the same spacing. Let me zoom it. It's going to be 20. Change the icon to the chevron left. And we're going to change to back button. Select the button in the title, add in the auto layout, and name it by top navigation. So in the first screen, we select this box. So choose this image. Click on key, make the image bigger, and the title is going to be the name of the box. Go to asset, we're going to add dot. We're going to change the color to black. So we're going to create a shadow below the bicycle. Use ellipse, put 10 instead of 11, put below the bike, go to linear. The color is going to be black. But we're going to play with the opacity. So I'm going to select the first, reduce to 20, and the middle, 50, and the third one, 20% and now we're going to add effect layer blue to 10. So I'm going to change 20 to 10 instead. This one too. Okay, now let's see. It's better. And put on the, the other wheel. Now we're going to duplicate another, make it larger. Choose solid instead. Put to 20%, go to layer blue, and it's going to be 20. Now we're going to create a model, the bottom shape going to upper wave from the bottom. So create a rectangle. The size is going to be 390 by 50. Corner radius 30. Go to the first screen and copy perfectly the selected layout. And pass to the new rectangle. Go to Stroke, go to Blend Mode, and choose Overlay. Delete one drop shadow, and delete the background blue too. We're going to change to color black instead. Change to 25. Select Fill, I'm going to play my color like this. We're going to write a title, which is the name of the chosen bike. So for the title, it's going to be bold. The size is going to be 17 and the color is white. For the description, it's going to be regular 15 color white. Reduce the opacity to 60%. Select the title and the description. Add an auto layout. Click on left link mark. And the spacing is going to be 16. A link from the left is going to be 20. On top of that, we're going to create a elevate button for the illusion that it's come out from the background. Right description. 15. Go to fill, leader, place and horizontal, the first color. Second color. And don't forget to put the opacity to 100. We're going to add an auto layout. Spacing between them is 10. And the horizontal padding, change it to 20. And vertical padding, 10. Make sure it's center a lima. Add fill. So the color is... We're going to add drop shadow, 4, 4, blue, 10. The color is going to be... 100. Let's add another drop shadow. So it's going to be negative 4, negative 4. Then the color is going to be 100%. Go back to corner radius, then duplicate. And we're going to change the text to specification. Change the color to solid white, 60% regular. 
and we want to create a button with the illusion that it's come in the background. So instead of drop shadow, select inner shadow. Change the name, specification. Select the two button, add an auto layout. The spacing between item is going to be 30. The spacing from the top is going to be 24. And from the text, 24. We're going to create a action button, including the price. Create a rectangle. 390 104 corner radius 50 adding bottom we're going to change the color to add stroke linear color on top is going to be white at the bottom black go to blend more overlay reduce the opacity 20 and for the width it's going to be two. Now we're going to add drop shadow, negative 10 and 40. The color is going to be, it's going to be 100. We're going to create a action button now. Use rectangle. The size is going to be 160 and 44. Select the top navigation button. We're going to copy property and then I'm going to pass property to the new rectangle. Medium 15. So select the text and the rectangle. We're going to add in a group and name the layer. Now it's missing the price. regular 24 auto which adding left change the color add an auto layout and the spacing between them is going to be 48 now i'm gonna select the frame and the face add in another group make sure that it's in the center i'm gonna select everything And voila, we are done with the second screen. Now we can go to the next step. So we're gonna duplicate, change the name to my shopping cards. So we're gonna delete everything except the top navigation and the start bar. Now we're gonna create a rectangle. The size is 190. Corner radius 10. Choose linear. The first color is going to be we're gonna use track linear, place the color diagonal, top color white, bottom is gonna be black. I'm gonna put it to 20. We're gonna use the overlay. I'm gonna reduce the opacity to 30. Put in a group. It's going to be for the image. Now we're going to bring new image inside. Let's say this one. Put inside the image. Of course, we're going to make it smaller. So we're going to change it to my shopping card. So now we're going to write the same title. So I'm going to copy the title change it to 15 so i'm going to select the image spacing is going to be 20 from the left and the text is going to be 16 from the image duplicate the text add the price change to regular 13 and the color is going to be we're going to create a add and remove button Create a rectangle of 24 and 24. Corner radius 5. Change to 5. Now we're going to add the plus icon. We're going to group them. Plus. Bottom. I'm going to change to 0.5 instead. 
duplicate. For this one, I'm gonna change the color to solid. Select the stock, I'm gonna put it to 20. Change the plus to the remove. And we're going to reduce the opacity to 60%. I'm going to change to remove right one. The size is going to be 30 and bold. Now I'm going to select everything, add an auto layout. Spacing between it and is going to be 8. It's going to be 4 and 4. Now I'm going to go to fill and we're going to select the color of the background. Add inner shadow, negative 2 and negative 2, blur 4. Select the color of the background and choose a lighter color. Add another inner shadow. Okay, it's going to be 2, 2 and 4. Choose a color of the background. And now add darker colors. Corner radius 8. Name the layer by add remove button. Spacing is 20 from the right. And I'm going to select with the price. Add in another auto layout. And I'm going to select with the title. Add in another auto layout. So the spacing is going to be 24. Stop when you see the red line. Now we're going to create a separator using the line. So the color is going to be white from the wood side with 0 0.5. And the spacing is going to be 16 from the image. 50% opacity and I'm going to choose overlay and name the layer by separator. I'm going to select the separator, the text, the image, and we're going to right click and add them in a frame. Call it item 1. Now we're going to duplicate it. Add an auto layout. Spacing is going to be 16. And we're going to call it item. And now you have to change the image and the text. Okay, now we're gonna create a promo card button. Use rectangle 350 and 44. Adding a horizontal center fill. We're gonna add effect inner shadow negative 4, negative 4, blue tens. So I'm going to take the color of the background, press on Ctrl C to have the eye drop. And now you're going to choose a lighter color. Now we're going to add another inner shadow, 4, 4, and 10. Again, press on Ctrl C, choose the color of your background, and choose a darker color. If you want to have more contrast, Put the color more lighter. So select the color just a little bit more lighter. So the color is select the rectangle and name it by base. I'm gonna duplicate the base. I'm gonna change the width size, which is 104. Select the top navigation button, copy property, and then pass property. But I'm going to remove effect. Right apply. Change to puppy. 13. Group with the base. Make sure to put it in the center. So we're gonna write a promo code. Choose regular. Now we're gonna group the base and the text and a group. Name by promo. Basing. So it's going to be 12. Reduce the opacity to 60%. Duplicate the promo code. We're going to do a slider checkout. Let's take the base. So I'm going to change the width size to... 174. Bring it to check out. Select the group, put it in the center. Click on the button, change the size 
to 44 replace the text to a icon and we're gonna place the button from the left instead from the right and select the text so the spacing is gonna be 24 from the button select promo code i'm gonna move it down and on top of that we're gonna add a text the size is 15 put it in the center the spacing is going to be 24 from the item. Select checkout. Spacing from the bottom is going to be 30. And this empty place, we're going to add subtitle. Spacing between them is going to be 8. Duplicate, change the color white to 60 opacity instead. Select the frame and change to right instead. The spacing is going to be 20 from the left and 20 for the right. The spacing is going to be 16 and 20 from the left. I'm going to duplicate. The spacing is going to be 20. We're going to change the color. We're going to select the price and the total. Add an auto layout. Select frame 9 and 8. Add an another auto layout. Now we're gonna select frame 11 and 10. Add an auto layout. Now we're gonna do the spacing. On the promo code, it's gonna be 24 and 21 from the checkout. Voila, we're gonna do a last checkup. All right, we are done for today. Congratulations for your new design. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like and enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on my next course. Bye-bye.